Well, hello, everybody. I'm Ray Nod, and this is my beautiful wife. Tracy. Baby love. Yes. Okay. Uh, today, we're picking up on Matthew chapter 7, and we're doing verse 26. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm reading from the King James, and baby love would do it from the... Amplified Classic. Okay, and it says, And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, mm. and doeth them not, mm. shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. sand. Not to be mistaken for sands. That's right, because we more than Yeah, one we're more sand. than one grain. Amen. Okay, go okay. ahead, baby. Sorry. Yeah. Matthew 7, 26. <laughs> And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a stupid, Ooh. foolish man. Is that what the Amplified says? Yes. Wow. Stu stupid, foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And people get upset when I say stupid or fool. Mm -hmm. I'm just reading what the Bible says. I know, bro. See, because the Bible, we know a fool is somebody who's stupid. Oh, well, okay, I'm just that's saying, okay, word. that's my word, but that's what Jesus is saying. I, I love this. I yeah. pity the fool, man. And everyone that heard these sayings of mine, that's what he's saying, I pity you, fool. <laughs> pity the fool. And everyone that heard these sayings of mine and doeth them not. Or in the common everyday English, does not do them, uh huh. will be like a stupid, in parentheses, foolish man who built his house upon the sand. There you go. Mm -hmm. So you see the difference. Jesus said, "Well, if, if you, you do them, your building your your house will be founded and not fall. It'll be on the rock, right?" That's, there you go. Mm -hmm. But I like what you're saying. You hear it and mm -hmm. you do it. Mm -hmm. So all the people that heard Jesus, mm -hmm. just like I said, we like to use mm -hmm. church or they people watching us. You can hear what we say. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. difference is, do you do? Mm. Not, not it's not us. What we say mm -hmm. that the word says. Mm -hmm. I love one of the guys I uh, listen to, and I've been reading his book is a uh, uh, Bishop Dag Haywood, mm. and he was saying one of the things you see in many people, even preachers and stuff, mm -hmm. you preach opinions and not mm. the word, and people you will find out people get more offended over the word. Than when somebody give an opinion, mm. because if you if you're a good speaker, mm. he says you get used to to uh, uh, addressing emotions because people love the opinion. Mm. So if, if you're not careful, so they want to be feeling. That's right. right. If you're not careful, what's that phrase? Preacher, preacher, tickle my tickle ear. My preacher, ear. preacher, tell me what I want to hear. Right. So if you're not mm. careful, you are preach to get mm. people. Feel it, so then you turn it over to your opinion. Right. But can I ask you a question? Okay. Like, everybody says, oh, if God wants it, he'll make it happen. That's right. But can I, but can I just say something right here? Everyone mm -hmm. who hears these words of mine and does not do them. So it sounds like this is a choice. It is a we choice. We have to do it. He's not going to do it for us. Dude, that's correct? good preaching. Come on, Mama. I mean, preach. he's not. I mean, literally, he's not. Hello? I mean, this is just clear to me even. This is more even like I'm pointing all fingers at me, okay? Everyone who hears these words of mine, does not do them, will be like a stupid, foolish man who built his house upon the sand. Okay, so that to me says, oh, I'm going to hear it. I'm like, mm, I know that, but see what happens? You get your butts in the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that, that's, that's exactly right. I was enjoying you. I'm, I'm listening oh. to you because... Mm -hmm. See, the more you hear the word, mm -hmm. the more you talk the word, the more revelation comes. Yeah. 100%. And it's because of honor and respect of the word of God. Here go a good example. You know, I, I, I was raised on, uh, for me, fathers of the faith, Kenneth Copeland, Kenneth Hagen, Fred mm -hmm. Price, mm -hmm. men like that. And even if somebody make a statement about them guys. Mm, yeah, you get a little offended. I get upset. Mm. You could call it offended, mm. upset. What? Because they like my fathers. Mm -hmm. They I'm my the fathers in yeah, the yeah, faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, and, and I always remember this. The Lord has taught me this lately, lately in prayer. Preachers always going to be accused. Mm -hmm. I don't care who it is. We don't like when preachers fall. We don't like when they come from shortcoming. They always going to be accused because the devil wants to always accuse them. You know, you say that, and um, we were just talking about somebody who has been in the Word. You know, we know them. They've been in church and this and that, and they've stumbled, right? Mm -hmm. We're really quick, and this goes for me, to forgive our brother or anything like that. But, oh, my God, don't let a pastor mess up. 
Because mm -mm. you know what? They're it, crucify him, right? Yeah. That's the first thing that comes out. Oh Lord, all this is but revelation. The, but the for me Bible today. says those that are spiritual mm -hmm. restore. Mm -hmm. See, and I'm you learning that. The more you have to I walk, more the, than that. the person, if you say you so spiritual, you should mm -hmm. be the ones reaching out to mm -hmm. restore. One of the things the Lord spoke to me, I think it was yesterday morning mm -hmm. when I was up praying. The Spirit of the Lord, you know, I pray in the Spirit a lot. And the Spirit of the Lord began to challenge me, I believe. When when you see a brother who's fallen, or mm -hmm. especially a preacher, yeah. the Lord said, you know the greatest thing you could do? And I know this was revelation. You go and let them know that you're there with them. Support mm -hmm. them. you you there with them. So having some compassion and being for your brother, It's not right? just a compassion. It's I'm standing with right. you. Right. Yeah, yeah. No matter what. See, it's easy to be with them when everything mm -hmm. is going well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But can you be with them when the whole world against them? Or are we going to be against them too? That's right. Ooh, that's snap. where we as believers, see, that's being a doer of mm. the word. That is so good. Jesus never abandoned him. Well, look at Peter. Peter oh denied gosh, right? him three times. Mm. And well, Jesus, he wasn't it found Peter. Who Peter. cut somebody's ear off too? And he was like, "What are you doing, bro? Who, you cut his ear off." Who Stop was it. the now only one Pete Jesus mentioned by name when he told Mary to go to the disciple? He said, "Go to my brother and Peter." Mm. He called Peter mm. by name. Mm. Why? Because he knew what Peter must have been feeling. Mm. Peter then denied him, walked with him. Mm. Now Jesus, and then what did Jesus do with Peter? He said, "Peter, do you love me?" Jesus said, Peter, Peter said, Lord, you know I love you. And then he asked him again. Then he, he asked, asked him, him again. Repeatedly. Why did he do it three times? He had to bring him back into rest, uh, mm. uh, uh, rest, re restore. Mm. And he See. knew. He said, now, Peter, go feed my sheep. Mm. Hallelujah. He had to Enough. restore. Him. That's what we're supposed to do mm. as we that's get good. more mature. See, and that's what the Lord, I said, okay, Lord, the next time I find out if it's somebody I know. Well, even somebody in the church. Yeah, in doesn't the church. Come anymore, and whatever. you just yeah, say, that's good. hey, I don't care what you think about mm -hmm. I'm with you. Hallelujah. Just Amen. I'm with you. So that's what we got to get better at, and that's being doers. Of the word. Because that's if good. we're not, we just like other people, yeah. foolish. Mm hmm Hallelujah. You Amen. You bought me like, come on, honey, that's enough. Okay. I know, uh -huh. we, we got a time to keep. All right, but look, we love y'all. <laughs> Y'all be blessed. Come back tomorrow. It's only going to get better. Amen. And how you say it? You say it God gets, bless. It gets what? Better? Or better what? and better or gooder and gooder. Yeah, you say gooder and gooder. Gooder and gooder. Okay. All right. Well, love y'all. Peace out, homies and homies. God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye.